All right, so three, two, one, what's up, and city, and welcome back to a Xenoverse 2 update. I was not expecting this to drop today, uh, so if y'all don't know, just catch up to speed. A couple days ago, like literally, I think it was yesterday or the day before, they Xeno the Dragon Ball, like the game official accounts, and so like Bondi, Dragon Ball games, all that, they tweeted out an image. Uh, of a like a new key art for Xenoverse 2 and they were like stay tuned for more updates well this morning they dropped a new trailer and a roadmap for what's going to be coming to the game so we're going to go through the trailer really quick it's only a minute so I'm just going to go ahead and play it try to turn the volume down a bit because you know copyright and all that but um yeah so you know it starts off just showing you know everything that's been in the game so far like all the different scenes and stuff because uh, if y'all don't know also, the reason they're doing this is because this month will be Xenoverse 2's 7th anniversary. So they wanted to do some big updates here. So let's just see what they got for us here. So it says, take a step towards the future. And it's all glitchy and stuff. I'm going to pause a couple times throughout this trailer. It says, why don't you come with me? Because first thing I want to point out is here. Fu has the time rings, which if you don't know what the time rings are, that's the thing for Dragon Ball Super that lets you jump to different timelines. So that opens up the gates for a lot more stuff that we could get within Xenoverse because yeah, he's got the time rings now. That that could that could mean a lot of different things. So there's that. He says, "Let's go to the future." This is also really cool here. Uh let's go back a little bit. But uh, as you can see, we've got God Vegeta versus Beerus. So it looks like we're getting more what if stories, which is sick cuz one thing, I don't know if y'all have seen some of my old videos talking about like what I want in a Xenoverse 3. I wanted more what ifs like this. Like the main one I'm thinking of is what if Vegeta went Super Saiyan against Frieza? So if we're getting more stuff like that, I am 100% here for it. This is exactly the type of scenarios we wanted for Xenoverse. Because Xenoverse 2 and Xenoverse 1, the what ifs that we got were kind of like whatever. Like it was just like, oh, what if this villain was more powerful or something? Like I guess the coolest one was when we got Frieza and Cooler on Namek. That was pretty cool. But most of them were just, like, powering up the main villain that was already strong, you know? But getting more stuff like this, like, what if Vegeta went god instead of Goku? This is what I'm here for. So I'm really hoping we get more of that in this update. This scene right here, though, is something else I want to talk about. So people have been wondering, like, what exactly this scene is supposed to be. Because I don't really know either. Maybe someone's figured it out. But if you ask me, the background here looks like the... Because I see this patch of grass, and then there's, like... You know concrete there to me this looks like the future saga it's like the android saga is what i'm assuming this is from and if that's the case then like i'm wondering if this is maybe like what if goku maybe this has something to do with future gohan perhaps like what if goku lived in the future i'm not sure but it's just him like reaching out his hand and yeah we don't really know what that's all about but to me it looks like the future saga but it's also weird because his shirt is ripped which would lead me to believe this is more around Namek or Saiyan Saga. But I don't think it's Saiyan Saga. It's got to be at least Namek Saga. Because I'm trying to think, what other arc does Goku get his shirt ripped like this? Because Cell Saga, that doesn't happen. Boo Saga, I don't... He doesn't get his shirt completely ripped off in Boo Saga like this. So I think it's just Namek or Saiyan Saga. So I'm guessing this is the... Specifically, the future Gohan timeline is what this looks like to me. So I guess we'll see what that's about later. But... Yeah, then we've got... Yeah, this this is the key art I was talking about earlier. The, this is it right here. And then, yeah, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And then this scene right here is the most interesting part. So we're going to go back frame by frame because I want to show like a, a full body shot of him here. So, okay. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure y'all can see my mouse, but... So a lot of people are wondering what this is supposed to be. I have one theory on it. Let me look up. Mm -hmm. Let me just look it up really quick so I can show you. This is my one theory on what this could be. Just based on like the outfit. I think it might be Crimson Mask Saiyan, which if y'all haven't watched Heroes, this is the Goku Black that can go all the way up to Super Saiyan Rose 3. So I think that there's potential for that. Because another thing I'm noticing is right here, you could see a little tuft of hair. And it's like kind of pointy. That is sort of like Goku's hair. Like look at this side right here. It's kind of like that. So it's like maybe that's what it could be. But I'm also noticing this right here, like in this corner. I don't know if that's just his aura like spiking up or if that's like fur. Because to me, it kind of looks like fur. 
Because you see it's stationary. Oh, there's a really even better shot of it. Yeah, that looks like there's like hair on his uh, outfit. So it could be something else. But you, see, you notice how that doesn't like move at all? Like it's not part of the key is what I mean. So that right there is also really interesting to me as to who this could be. That might be a pretty big hint about it. I'd have to look up more characters because like, yeah, the way the hair is like sticking out, it looks like it's part of the outfit. And obviously this Goku Black doesn't have any fur on his outfit or anything. So I'm trying to think who has something. Because the other thing that's getting me is that it's only on one side though. That's only sticking out over here and not on this side. So, I don't know, but I, like, just going through it frame by frame, it doesn't really give you the greatest idea. I guess you can kind of see something here, right? Is Am I crazy, or is there something, like, red and blue there? But the, the other thing that gets me is the aura. It looks a lot like Rosé to me. And in, like, you know, the pose and everything, it looks a lot like Super Saiyan Rosé. So, like, I'm seeing this right here, and I can't tell if it's just the aura effects or if this is red and blue, but it could be... Like a time patroller maybe, but I don't know. We're, we'll find out once this actually drops. Because I'm assuming... Because I will get to it when we get to the roadmap, roadmap. But yeah, that this is who I first thought of though. The masked Goku Black. And then obviously with his hair like this, this would be base form. So this could just be him like coming... Like getting his power and then about to go Rose or something. But I, again, we'll see. This could be an original character maybe. I kind of hope it's more hero stuff though. If I, if I had to pick. But yeah, so it says stay tuned. And then, yeah, it's just like the two editions. They have the deluxe edition. And then they have the special edition, which the thing, this is kind of a weird edition to me. Because why is it only the, like the last, because like the only things that are included here are the first and the last DLCs, which is weird. I feel like also this Beast Gohan look kind of weird there. I don't know. He just looks like tiny. I, I guess it's just they shrunk the model. I don't know. But um, I felt, I feel like they should have just dropped a, an edition that had all the dlcs you know instead of just the first and the last ones i don't know but yeah that's basically it for the trailer though uh yeah that's it so the next thing we're gonna go is on to twitter and shout out to burkle because he uh posted this but let's read over here so the tomorrow this drops tomorrow by the way i'm recording this october 11th i'm gonna upload it too the big free update so we've got a new event called the festival of universes now if you're looking I'm pretty sure this is just Canton City here, right? Like, this is, like, the main lobby. Like, right here in the middle, is that's where the statue usually is in Canton and then the shops and everything. So, to me, what I think this might be... Also, I just realized it's not fully on camera. Let me just... There we go. Now y'all can see it better. Um, but, yeah, this over here on the left, Festival of Universes. Um, to me, this seems like maybe one of those raid events. Like, you know how every so often we get Frieza invading Canton City? Maybe this is something similar to that. But it, yeah, it says Festival of Universes, which makes me think it's going to involve like the Gods of Destruction and all that stuff. So I guess we'll see. Then we have this, set, it says New Mode Cross Versus. I don't know what that means. I, I have no idea what this could be. Maybe, only thing I can think is maybe it's like a tournament kind of setup. So maybe it's like, because it, obviously this looks like a 3v3, right? But maybe it's a 3v3, but you go and fight one at a time. So like, like let's say it's this Saiyan right here fighting the Earthling, and then the Namekian fighting the Majin, and then the female Saiyan fighting the Frieza race character. Like maybe it's a, like a back and forth thing, right? Oh, and this is also a Saiyan. I, I said Earthling. But um, maybe it's like a 1v1 thing, because I don't know what cross versus means. I, I don't know what that could mean. Uh, but I guess, again, we'll find out tomorrow. But the biggest thing here, though, is Ultra Instinct is coming for all of our custom characters. This is something we've been asking for forever. Like, when we finally got Beast for all custom characters, people were hyped for that. I honestly think Ultra Instinct is even more hype than than uh, than Beast being there. So this is something we've been wanting forever, like the auto-dodger. Like, I'm... Xenoverse is so back with this update. It also says avatar level cap unlocked. So I'm wondering how high they're going to go. Because right now max level, if y'all don't know, is level 99. I'm guessing it's going to go up to 100. But it, theoretically, it could go up even higher, potentially. So I guess we'll see. Uh, and then it says some feature improvements and etc. Um, they're also doing a welcome campaign where we have a special login bonus for a week. And then you, people who don't have the DLC can play any of these DLC characters. It looks like it's literally any of them except for superhero stuff. 
So yeah, it looks like it's everything up to Gogeta Blue. So you don't have base Gogeta and the DLCs past that. So you so it's just like the first few DLCs. Cause yeah, you don't have UI sign, dispo. So it's just a select group of the DLCs. There is also this. The it says Xenoverse 2, PS5, and Xbox Series S X launch. So it looks like we're getting a version upgrade for Xenoverse also, which is hype. Because that means the game will run a lot smoother and everything. It'll be It'll just be like, it's just like any other game, like Spider-Man that got improved for PS5. It'll just be, you know, higher graphics, like it'll run smoother. That's good. And then the other thing is next year, so I'm assuming this is going to be like March maybe, we're getting another DLC pack, which I know the meme is just like, oh my god, they can't stop doing DLC. Which you're not wrong. They, they I, like, I've been talking about how I want a Xenoverse 3. Um, Yeah, I've been talking about it a lot. But the, my thing with the DLC though is what could it be? I would assume maybe, let's go back to the trailer here. If this right here, the character we saw here, if this really is a hero's character, then I might get my wish and the DLC could be more hero's content, like Time Patroller Goku, um, Evolution Blue Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Like, if that's the direction we're moving in, bro, Xenoverse is in a whole new era. That's all I have to say. We're just in a completely new era of Xenoverse, if that's where we're going with this. Uh, and then after that, it just says, and more to come. So they have, like, this roadmap here. Uh, and that's basically everything that there is to talk about. But this is really hype. We're getting Ultra Instinct, and all of this is dropping tomorrow. So, you know, hot, log into Xenoverse tomorrow, y'all, because this is this is happening right here. They also said visit the official website for more details, but I don't really think there's anything too interesting there right now. But yeah, my main thing though here is I wonder what this is about. And then the other thing I'm confused about is this trailer. So it says new scenarios. I'm assuming the God Vegeta stuff right here is going to be part of the DLC. So I don't think this is going to be part of the free update because you notice it doesn't say new scenarios here. I'm guessing God Vegeta and then the character we saw at the end is all going to be uh, part of this DLC here. So we'll see. Um... I'm really hyped for it though. As much as like I've been preaching for, you know, Xenoverse 3 needs to drop. This is hype. Like I can't lie. This is really, really sick. And I I'm hoping that because Xenoverse definitely needed better like game modes, I'll I'll say. But they just really need to do like a really, really like good just give us everything. What like let us play like giant characters and stuff, like a giant raid mode and stuff. But there's a lot they could do. But cross versus does intrigue me. I'm just wondering what it's gonna be. And then Festival Universes too. It says event for this one too, by the way. So I'm thinking it's like the Freezer Raid. But we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably I'm probably going to make like a video going over or maybe like stream over like what you need to get Ultra Instinct and all that. But yeah, that's pretty much everything though. I'm hyped for it. I just wanted to make a quick video going over everything. And yeah, so let me know what y'all think down below. Let me know what y'all think is going to come in this update. What you think all the... Maybe what you think, like, this character is over here at the end of this. Like, because I think it might be that Crimson Mask Saiyan, but we'll see. Um, but just let me know what y'all think. Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know what you think about Ultra Instinct and all that. But, yeah. Till next time, though. I'll see you all later. Peace! Have a good day or night, y'all.